Hello, I'm Andrew Fryer, and in part three of my Beyond Relational series looking at file table, I want to set up full text searching across the documents that I put in my file table. Before I get started, a quick recap. File tables are a new kind of table in SQL Server Denali, and I've got one here. And what makes them special? Well, if I right click, I can explore a file table directory, and here you can see the files as though they're on a normal filing system. I can open these, edit them, delete them, just as I would any other file in a directory. But I can also work with them in SQL Server. I can run tSQL commands against them. And here you can see that I have a row for every one of those files with its file name, file type, and so on and so forth. And now what I want to do is to apply full text searching to all of these documents so that I can search the contents of them. And for SQL Server to be able to do that, the full text engine needs to understand what these files are, because I could have put Word documents in here, Excel, PDF documents, PowerPoints, and so on. And in this case, they're all PPTX. Full text uses iFilters to do this work. And there are some iFilters that are installed as part of the SQL Server installation process. And to see which ones they are, you can run this command here. If I do that now, we can scroll down this list and we can see that although we've got doc and PPT, here, we haven't got the new Office eye filters. In order to work with the eye filters, I need to go on to the virtual machine that I've got SQL Server installed on. If you need to go and get the Office 2010 filters, they're available here. But I noticed when I tried to do this that it seemed that in the Denali installation they were already installed. And you can see here that they have the same timestamp as the rest of the SQL Server installation that I did. And you can also see the version 14 there indicating Office 2010. So I don't need to do anything here. However, what I do need to do is to tell SQL Server how to use iFilters that aren't inside the SQL Server engine itself. And in order to do that, I need to run this command, which loads the OS resources, as it, as it says here. So I'll just execute that. restart that service. And now what I think I need to do is to restart SQL Server. And now when I run that command again, I've got a much longer list. And sure enough, if I go down to the P's here, there's the entry for the PowerPoint decks that I want to index, along with a whole load of other documents, as you can see. There's also iFilters for Adobe, and you can get those from their site and run the same command to bring those in to SQL Server's notice. Right, so stage one complete. Now I'm ready to full text index this table. And the easy way to do that is to run this wizard. Before I do that, actually, I'm just going to expand out the schema so you can see what it is, because we'll be looking at various columns here. So when I run this wizard, the first thing I'm asked for is the unique index. Now the schema for a file table is fixed. You've got no control over it. So you just have to accept the choices here for the primary key and indeed what you want to search. In selecting these columns, the most important of these is the file stream column. This is the pointer to the file itself. And when I check that, I can choose a language for it, British English. And I can also pick up this type column that's gonna tell me that it's a PowerPoint file, an Excel file, and so on and so forth. I might also want to index the name of the file itself, and I don't need to select a type column for that, but I do need to specify a language. There's another option on the right here, Statistical Semantics, and we'll be looking at that in my next screencast. The next option you have is to decide how you want to track changes on this table. And it'd be pretty good in this case if we left that to automatic as people drop new files in, we'll automatically get them added in here. But if this was a large table in a big organisation, the business of re-indexing this table to keep the full text indexes up to date would take some time and might impair performance. Full text indexes live in full text catalogues, and I'll just call mine deep fat catalogue. and I can select that as the default catalogue. You can have multiple catalogues in a particular database, and they're stored inside the database in the later versions of SQL Server. And indeed, I can specify the file group where they're going to end up, and I can also specify the full text stop list. 
But this is a list of words in the English language. This would be the, on, if, and, at, and so on, that occur very commonly in our language, but aren't really any use for searching. And that keeps the index size down. Um, you can override this list for your particular language. I'm not going to go into that here as I mainly want to concentrate on file table. Here I could specify those out of hour schedules to populate the indexes if I wanted to. Now I get a confirmation screen, I hit finish and it'll start to create that index and the catalogue. I'll close that. If you want to do that in T-SQL yourselves, I've got some of the commands here. Here's the command to create the catalogue and this is how I would create the full text index on that particular table. The language here is British English. I'm using the file stream column and I'm declaring the file type here. Notice this is comma separated so I can have multiple columns in here if I want to. There's my key index. I'm declaring it on that catalogue. I've got auto trains tracking and I'm using the system stop list. To look at the full text indexes you've got, you can run this command and there you can see my index that I created earlier and when it started it's crawled and when it ended it's crawled and the fact that it's enabled. There's a number of free text T-SQL commands you can use. I've just got a very simple one here. I'm searching the file stream column in my table and I want to type NIST in here because I want to find the definition of private cloud. Now I know I've got a deck where I call that out as referenced by the National Institute of Science and Technology. So I could run this query and those are the decks that contain that query. Now I could put more smarts in here and go and get that, but it'd be a good test if I go and find the connected cloud deck that I've got. I'll just open my file table directory here. There's the slide, there's the word NIST in it. So it's working, fantastic. That's pretty clever stuff. In my next screencast, I'm going to show you something even cleverer. It's called semantic searching and it builds on the full text index we've just created.